morning, more than a dozen wildfires continue to tear through Northern California as thousands of people flee their homes. It's one of the worst wildfire outbreaks in the state's history. I'm News News reporter Jan Carabello is tracking all of the developments, and she joins us now in the studio. Good morning, Jan. We're Helen Jim, good morning. Officials say the death toll now stands at 17, and that number could rise. At least 180 people have also been injured. Now, October is traditionally peak fire season there in California, with the ground the driest and the winds the strongest, but it's the perfect firestorm right now. The northern part of the state is experiencing what's called Diablo winds. Those winds can gust up to near hurricane strength and send embers half a mile away. Now 48 hours and counting, wildfires continue to burn out of control in Northern California. This is nowhere near over. It is still very dangerous. First responders and elected officials at a community meeting in Santa Rosa High School. They're urging eager residents who want to return to their homes to remain patient instead. We want you back in your home sooner than later, but we got to keep everybody alive first and everybody safe first. And all of our resources are on that evacuation, moving people out. Those who were able to return home are often and finding what David Leal did. Very little is left. He's now living out of his car. It's been hard to to see what we've built and put into the place and, and now it's uh, reduced <laughs> reduced to what you see here. More than 2,000 homes and businesses are destroyed, and the impact on the region's lifeblood, the wine industry, is significant. One Napa County trade group says at least five of its wineries have been destroyed or severely damaged. One of the saddest things, though, is to see some of these 100-year-old you know, landmark wineries that have been com completely burnt down, which is really heartbreaking. Philadelphia native and winemaker Michael Scarsone runs Emmett Scarsone Wines in Sonoma County. He moved to the region 17 years ago to start his business. At this point, he can't even get to several of his vineyards to check the damage. This one in the distance is torched. His winery is just a few miles from the fire line. The air quality is horrible. Um, you can't really see much at all. The wine industry in Sonoma and Napa Valley employs more than 50,000 people. Yeah, I mean, so pair those strong winds with the densely populated wine country and you get this disaster. The fire season has only just begun in California too and forecasters say the conditions will worsen tonight with more high winds and low humidity. Jim Rahel, back to you.